Despite the overwhelming consequences of the pandemic, this global crisis has also been an extraordinary time for learning. We are learning how adaptable and resilient educational systems, policymakers, teachers, and students can be. Before we go on, you may click subscribe and like for more sessions and updates. Two crucial factors have shifted due to the pandemic. First, pedagogical adaptations have proven to be pivotal as the traditional lecturing in-person models do not translate to a remote learning environment. No matter the type of channel used, teachers need to adapt their practices and be creative to keep students engaged as every household has become a classroom without an environment that supports learning. Grounded on the challenges encountered, strategies that would lessen the burden of the present situation were designed. The most common challenges include poor connectivity, less support to learning, lack of technical capabilities of learners, parents, and teachers, the level of teachers' preparedness, and the questions of how valid and reliable assessment given were some considerations in taking bold steps to mitigate learning gaps. Due to challenges of the new normal, Surigao del Sur Division mobilized innovative assessment designs to lessen the burden of teachers and the school children without compromising the learning goals. Thus, PAGASA, coined as Performance Assessment Guide for Authentic Students' Achievement, gives hope to teachers and learners by reducing the number of tasks required by schools without sacrificing the goals of learning. What is PAGASA? PAGASA is a simplified team-based authentic performance and assessment where the focus of assessment is lodged in the connection of skills and real-life experiences. PAGASA used team-based approach where authentic performance tasks provided a realistic assessment that minimizes the risk of wasting resources and maximizes learning outcomes. This is a way of assessing where learning areas were connected and integrated in a theme. This concept allowed students to connect their learning and understanding to real-life learning experiences. This development is in consonance to Depend Order Number 31, the Interim Guidelines on Assessment and Grading in the New Normal which stated that assessment must be integrative and collaborative. In support to this policy is DepEd Memorandum No. 307, Series of 2020, or the Provision of Academic Ease, which further advised that assessment in schools must be interdisciplinary. This posed a strategy that design of performance tasks as assessment of learning must integrate competencies and learning areas. The use of thematic assessment captured the different levels of cognitive process dimensions and learning taxonomy. The concept encouraged learners to show understanding using the highest taxonomy of learning focused on creating. This allowed learners to put the learning elements together to form a coherent or functional evidence or reorganizing elements into a new pattern or structure through generating, planning or producing a tangible product. So how did Pag-asa evolve? From the pilot development to implementation down to thorough document analysis, recommendations for revisions were laid. Number one, simplify the design appropriate to learners' capacity. Number two, adjust the development phases by reducing templates and task requirements. Number three, reduce printing resources since it's tasking for teachers to sort multiple sets of materials. And lastly, ensure fair ratings to outputs by giving objective scores due to challenging performance tasks required to learners. 
what is the target of pag-asa? Pag-asa will only require one performance task or output in the whole quarter since creating is the last and highest form in assessment of learning. Since the grading system requires four performance tasks in a quarter, there must be four critical and thorough evaluation of the learner's output. And the required performance task or output shall be evaluated by each learning area for four times, focusing on specific criteria or group of performance criteria required in the major final output. Through thematic assessment, learners get to understand their unique strengths, explore multiple ways of learning, and use skills that they have been acquiring through a thematic methodology. This also provided a wide opportunity for the children to express themselves and help them build new skills and knowledge easily. For teachers, Using theme-based assessment listens to multiple designs of performance tasks and output requirements to be checked because Pag-asa promised to design one major output for all performance tasks in a quarter. Assessment for learners must provide them knowledge of their society and environment and hones their skills to change them for the better. It must also help them develop their own perspective of looking at their lives, prepare them to have their own points of view, and form their own opinions on different facets of life. Education today is not the process of gaining information, but must shape learners to undertake active roles in their contemporary society. Altogether, let us create more innovative opportunities to give hope to our learners. You may subscribe and like for more sessions and updates.